Hey, this is Therese with One Mother and One Daughter. And um, as you can see, I changed the angle of my camera. So, what do you think? If you <laughs> if you see how I have it up here, you'll be like, oh my God. But I'm a crafter, so I have to do what I have to do. You know, I have to make it work. So, I found an angle where you could see perfectly. And I really, this is it. I found my angle and I didn't have to buy much. Actually, I didn't have to buy anything, but um, maybe I'll tell y'all about that another time. Anyway, I'm here today because I'm making this card for the CCE, which is a Facebook page, and or it's for August. The August theme is uh, folded cards, so I decided to make a double easel card which I've already scored and prepared everything. My desk is a mess, but hey, I'm a crafter. So, um, you, you'll have to start with a 5.5 by 11 piece of paper. It's a 8.5 by 11 cut this way, which will be easier for you. And then it's scored, starting from this way, it would be scored at 3.5 seven and an eighth and ten and five eighths so you'll need a little strip of adhesive for this part let me just move it so you can there you go because I already scored it and cut it and then you can do this or you cannot do this but I like a little way to get the card out so you're going to use a hole punch put it halfway in I have a double hole punch so what I had to do was Put mines in and then put it to the edge and cut it so it could be done with a double hole punch. And what I used to make sure that I got the hole centered is a centering ruler. I mean, it's like no one wants me to show this centering ruler because I can never find it. But haha, I got it. And this. I needed this so bad. I knew I needed it. I just didn't know what it was called. I, I think I mentioned that in another video. And I got it in a swap box from Janice. So if you watch this video. Hi Janice. Thank you so much. I really use this all the time. I keep it right on the side over here on my desk. So I can get to it. And I love this. It's by EK Success. And it's flexible if you do altered art like me. Here's one of the cans that I'm going to be altering for my daughter's locker. Alter art is easy to fold around whatever you're trying to fold around to get the measurement. So, I love it and use it all the time. Anyway, back to my card. So, okay. This is my card. I already punched a little hole. And I will be using different papers from my mind's eye six by six paper pack and I'll show you that in a few minutes but just to save me time I cut all my pieces and everything already what I did to measure because I don't I don't want to say I don't measure because I do but I size like I use my gypsy for everything and I'll size like this card front of this is like three and a half by five and a half so I measured that and then I picked my pieces that I want to use yeah that's a good angle I picked my pieces that I want to use in the middle of the square like let's just say I have a square right here I'll put a square right here which is a uh, three and a half by five and a half and then I put my pieces on top and I measure it how I want it to look on a card so I already did that and these are the measurements I got so I cut this which is gonna go on the top at five and a half by um, three and a half actually two eighths shorter than my original I got a little tape on it my original base and then I have a scallop punch, a scallop image, and a circle image to go on top. And that is 
2.49 in height and 2.59 in width. Then I have the scallop edge and that is in height 2.96 and width 3.13. And let me tell you because I don't have like the Sizzix circle punches. So I'll tell you where this is from. The circle is from. You can get any circle. And I believe that's from Basic. Quicker Craft from Basics. Yep. And the scallop. I don't believe it's from the same place. Yes, it's from the same cart. So you can find those two pieces on the Cricut Craft Room Basics. So, okay. I believe that's all I... That's the only cut that I... Oh, no. And I did... For my image in the middle... Let me just get to that. I'll show you... I used the cupcake from Doodle Charms. Doodle Charms. And that is cut at 2.88 in height and 2.39. And it was just enough so that it can fit inside of my circle. And as you can see, can you see that? Just enough. So, I didn't use, let me just put my gypsy down. I didn't use the candle that comes with that particular cupcake. Because to me, it represents like it's for a one-year-old. So, really quickly, I know I ran my mouth a lot. Let's just put this card together. What you would need is like maybe a strip and a quarter of plastic bag. And this is the only color I have with no writing on it. And you're going to tape this down to your card. Not tight, but firm. Not tight, but not loose. Just enough so that it can move around your card. And I have to tell you, I've made this card before for, well, for a bunch of times, but um, I hadn't made it in a while, so it gave me, like, a lot of trouble. Make sure you get no tape. Only get your tape on the strip of plastic. Hold it firm. But not pulling it real tight. And just, can you see it's like, how it's moving like that? So, okay. I like to tape down this part also, so. I'll just put a little tape there. My voice is kind of scratchy. Because I was yelling at a game. So, okay. So, I have those two pieces. Then, you're going to have to cut two pieces for the inside. One that's going to go on this side, and one that's going to go on that side. And those pieces are cut. And this is my little... Not cheat sheet, but everything I jot down. Those two pieces are cut at three and a fourth by five and a half. So I have these two pieces. And on the inside of this card, I'm going to put... Where did I get this from this stamp set? Oh, is this inside out? Yes, I believe it's from Scrappy Moms Inside Out. And I'm going to be using, may this birthday be the beginning of a year filled with happiness. And on the outside, I'm going to use that happy birthday. Isn't that happy birthday just, I just love that happy birthday. I needed a script happy birthday. So, yeah, this is a good stamp set. So on the inside, I've used the same blue for the base of the card. And I used the same paper that I'm going to use on the outside just to back this and I'm going to put this in the middle of this card. Do you see that my pinky finger, not my pinky finger, my ring finger is blue? Let me tell you, that's not craft. That is actually nail polish that has stained my nail 
because I'm I really I got this blue nail polish. It's like a shatter nail polish, and I really like it. It's blue, but I put some Revlon glitter sparkle nail polish on. But anyway. The point that I'm trying to make is that I am actually use acetone and I can't get this off. And it's not on. Can you see that? It's crazy. It actually stained my nail. And I've been using it for a while, but it's never stained my nail. That's crazy. Okay. I want to make... I don't think that this is straight, so... It's my spatula that I always use. Because I never put things down straight the first time. I want this to be straight. So I'm using the lines on my mat to make sure that it's straight. Anyway, let me tell y'all, I'm so excited. I got into the, well, I always like to color. That was probably like my first craft, but I got into the Spectrum Mall Noir thing that everyone, well, the coloring everyone is getting into. I love the color. But the realistic coloring, that's the thing that um, well, I'm not going to say I'm having trouble with because I've been practicing and I've been kind of getting it. But I'm so excited because I haven't been buying any crafts. I've been saving my money to get the rest of the sets. And I ordered it and it should be here by Friday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so you have two panels. This panel, I want to be very clear. When you, when you go to assemble your card, you put the plastic on, you put it on the last panel. And how you know that's the last panel? Well, I'm calling it the last panel because it's the one on closest to the side. Because you're going to have your small scored edge to your left. Okay? So the first panel, the last panel over here, will be the front of your card. So when I first did it, I, I put a little F to let, you know, to say, okay, this is the front of my card, and this is going to be the back. This other page is going to be the back paper. So you're going to glue. The way to remember to tape it is that you're going to, this is the side that you're going to pull up. So you don't want to tape on the top of this. You're going to tape on the bottom. And don't tape on your card. Tape on the plastic. So, tape the plastic. And the good thing about this size card is that it fits inside of the A2 size envelope. Okay. Now, place it at the bottom. I like to make sure there's even space on each side. And press down. So this is your chance where you get to make sure that it's flush before you put the back side. So what I like to do is, like a shuffling card, you bang it just to make it even. Sorry about that, I'm moving my camera. Then you're gonna turn this side over and you're going to tape this card at the top. And I'm leaving this one blank because the person that's getting it, whoever want to give it to somebody, they can write their message on there. Or they can tape, which I've done, a gift card to that. So, now you're going to tape the top of this plastic. Of this side. So the front is the bottom. Make sure there's no tape. And the back is the top. And that means that once you tape the whole thing and close it together, pull this out, it'll be the top. So now I'm going to tape this little strip and the way I do it because I have a wide. I also have a small but I don't feel like messing with that. I have another gun and do it like this and then swipe that up. 
so move it down because I don't want that part to be taped inside work that away and that's perfect so now it's time to close the card so when you close it you're going to make sure that this side with the tape goes under this piece of paper okay so let's close it Okay. I just like to press it down really well. Now let's test it. Sometime you need to give it a little go first. Does that tape? There you go. So that's your double slider card. Now, really quickly, we're going to put the rest of the card together. So, I, when I cut this, the top, I cut it so that I could have room on both sides where there's a border around all sides. Start at the top. Okay. I have my two scallop pieces. Okay. I can't find my cupcake. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here it is, right in front of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna adhere this down. I think I'm gonna use the blue. I'm going to tape this to the top of here, trying to make it even all around. Okay. Okay, that's good. Then we're going to place this here, and I did the happy birthday, and I cut it in banner style, and that's going to go right at the bottom. So let's place that. Was even on both sides. Okay. Let me place this. Okay, and now my cupcake, which I mounted on foam dots, so you know it's going to cost me more to go in the mail. Why do I do this? <laughs> so, now all I have to do is turn it over, have my stamp.
created by Therese. And we're done. Isn't that cute? I mean, I don't know. I always got to give it a little start at first. So, that's the card. Isn't that cute? So, I've used, I don't want to say, you know, well, I'm not going to say I don't want to say which one I use, but I've used various papers from My Mind's Eye, Designer Pack, and, you know, some of these, and I've, I've just used all the paper, all the pattern paper that I use is from My Mind's Eye, the 6x6 paper pack, and I had to make, I believe, eight of them or seven of them, I can't remember, but these are the other colors that I've done. So, you ladies of the C, C, E will be getting same style, different patterns. Oh, isn't this one gorgeous? I like this one. So, well, I don't like them all, but, so, yeah. That's my card for August for the Cricut Craft Exchange Group on Facebook. So, I hope you like it. I hope you found it simple to do. And I hope you make one of your own. Anyway, thanks for stopping by my channel. All my new subbies. All the people who keep sticking with me. And interested in actually something that I, that I like to do. So, thank you. And um, have a nice day.